Okay, so in this particular uh, problem, they're not actually giving you a diagram, and it, it wouldn't be a bad idea to draw a diagram. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? I'm going to say, what if you had this line right here, and then you had this other line coming off of it, and let's identify some uh, points on to name them, okay? So we've got angle EFG. We can see that F is the vertex point, so let's put F down there. And we could say that this is EFG, because then the other one is GFH. And so H goes down here, you know, as a sketch to give us an idea of it. So here we've got EFG, here we've got GFH, and together they form a linear pair. Now, we know that linear pairs sum to 180, okay? So we can then say, well, if that's true, then the measure of angle EFG, 2N plus 21, added to the measure of angle GFH, 4N plus 15, equals 180. Okay. Now, do you need a sketch of this? Not really. You don't really need a sketch. You've just got to make sure that um, you know, they're giving you the measurements of the two smaller angles that go together to be the linear pair. Yep. Okay, so then we can add them together and we solve it. And we're just going to do this algebraically pretty quickly. 6n plus 36 equals 180. And subtraction property of equality. We've got 6n equals 144. And then if we do 6n divided by 6 and 144 divided by 6, I'm going to do the math over here. 144 divided by 6. is 24. N equals 24. Now, did they ask us for what N equaled? Um, nope, they didn't. They sure didn't. Oops. Uh, they just asked us for the angle measures themselves. So what we're going to need to do is plug it back in. Okay. We need to know what N is, but that's not what our answer is going to be. So I'm just getting rid of the work so that we can do more work. And what I want to do is I want to write each expression separately, plug them in, and uh, ideally, if we did it right, then we'll, the two angle measures that we get, 2n plus 21, n being 24, uh, uh, will sum up to 180 when we add the values together. So this is 48. 48 plus 21 is 69 degrees, and do it for the other expression, 4n plus 15, or 4 parentheses, 24. And I know that to be 96 plus 15 is 111 degrees. And then let's add them together and see what we get. 111 plus 69 equals 180, 180 degrees. So these are our measures. We can say the measure of angle EFG equals 69 degrees, and the measure of angle GFH equals 111. There's your answer.